Hey guys, if you just got dumbbells and you're not sure what exercises to do, I have six upper body exercises to do with just dumbbells and I'm gonna take you through a workout right now. Let's go. Okay guys, let's get into it. So this first exercise is a bench press. Um, you can do this on a bench or on the ground. If you don't have a bench at your house, which a lot of people don't, this if you just got dumbbells and you're new to exercise, then this is going to be um, the simplest way to do a bench press is going to be on the ground. So lay on the ground and when your the back of your arm just barely touches the floor, push back up. up. So if you're on a bench at a gym, you could probably go down a little deeper into that um, towards your chest. But don't worry about it if you're on the ground, just hit, hit the back of your arms to the ground and push back up. So this exercise, I would suggest starting with three sets of 10. So you do 10 down and up, down and up, down and up. Take a break. When I say a break, I mean a good 30 to 45 seconds. Rest your body. Then lay back down and do the next 10. Take a break. Wait for that minute. Rest your body and then go back to the third set. So when I am doing a bench press, um, sometimes I change the tempo. And when I say tempo, I mean how slowly or quickly you do the exercise. So if I come down, maybe I'll count one, two, three, one, and I push up really quickly. Um, sometimes it's two down and two up. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can change that and it will change the exercise. It'll change how you feel up the next day, how sore you are. Um, a lot of things in, and especially with dumbbells, you can change the weight, the tempo, how many reps you do and how many sets you do. So I would suggest just starting with what you have as far as weight and, and moving on from there. Seeing if you can do three sets of 10. If you can do three sets of 10, maybe you can do four sets of 10 or three sets of 15 and kind of change the weight that way. Um, the next exercise I'm gonna do here is the skull crusher. So you're gonna take one weight or two, I'll show you both ways, um, take one weight, make sure your pinkies are facing the ceiling, your arms are straight up above you, and bend at your elbow to where that weight is touching down, almost going to hit your forehead. That's why they're called a skull crusher. So you're going to feel it in your triceps, and you're just going to go straight back up. It's down and up. And the only thing that's moving is you're hinging at that elbow. Keep your pinkies towards the ceiling. So if you use one weight, you're going to be holding it like this. If you have two weights, you're going to be holding the dumbbells like this, but your pinkies are still going to be at the ceiling. When you come down to your forehead, you should see both your hands, palms facing each other, and you're just going down and up. You can do these on the ground, you can do them on a bench. It's easy either way. That won't change the exercise. Again, shoot for three sets of 10. If you could do three sets of 10 for your first time doing these, it's gonna be perfect. That's awesome. So the fourth exercise, you are gonna lean over, put one hand on the bench or on a chair, or maybe even on your knee. Just lean over to where your back is pretty flat and you are gonna row your elbow towards your hip. So you're gonna pull your elbow straight towards your hip and lower it back down. You're gonna 10 on each side and then do a kickback. This is called supersetting two exercises. So you'll do one exercise and then begin the next exercise. And then you'll go back and forth until you have the three sets completed of both exercises. So as you're doing, you're going to row with that elbow to the hip. And then with the kickback, you're going to have your elbow already to your side, right at your hip. And you're going to just hinge at the elbow and kick your arm back. So the row is your back. And then the kickback is going to be your tricep. That's the back part of your arm. You should feel it pretty burning, burning pretty good since you just did those skull crushers. Now try not to twist up when you pull. You're not gonna twist your back to pull your elbow to your hip. You're gonna tighten that core, keep your whole core tight, back, stomach, chest, everything. And you're trying to just pull that weight up using your lats or your back muscles right here. Um, and for the kickback, you're gonna, same kind of thing. Don't twist your shoulders, don't twist your back. Work on keeping all of that tight and you're just kicking that arm straight back. So when I say you could do these um, leaning on the bench, you could also lean on a table, lean on your knee. You just want your 
your back to kind of be flat towards uh, parallel to towards the ground when you're doing these so um, it doesn't matter what you're leaning on or bending over some people do kickbacks at the same time with both arms um, I find that to be really difficult I, it's hard for me to focus on which tricep I'm using or which spot I'm using and keep everything tight if I do both arms at the same time but if you're crunched for time do one arm row one arm row and then triceps kicking back at the same time you're just gonna have to lean over and keep your chest um, parallel to the ground um, for the third exercise or fourth fifth exercise <laughs> it'll be the fifth and sixth exercise here is you're gonna do a bicep curl to a shoulder press so if you're watching me right here I'm gonna curl and then press I've got a kid coming down the stairs <laughs> jumping down the stairs um, you can do these standing. Where's Marcus, Mom? Marcus should be upstairs. He might have gone to the bathroom. Do you want to come sit by me? Come here. So you're going to curl curl up, twist your hand towards the front, and push up. Okay, just a second. I'm talking about working out. So you're going to curl your hand up. So you're using your bicep there. You're going to twist your hand. Um, and push towards the ceiling so it is a curl and a press so you're using your bicep and your shoulders here you can do these standing or seated seated is going to give you a little bit more control standing make sure when you curl you're not throwing your back and moving your back around to make sure everything's tight whether you're standing or sitting you need to make sure your core is completely tight on these and you're curling up slowly turning your hands and pushing up to the ceiling so again, with these, you can really count slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you like to count and make sure you're doing those movements. <laughs> okay. Make sure you're doing those movements equally and slowly. Then, Abram, hey, don't touch that. Get down. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Move, buddy. Move. So you can also see me doing, you can see me. You can see me doing these one arm at a time. So if you want to stand and just do your right arm and then left arm, you can do these at the same time, one arm at a time, standing, seated. Any of the combinations of that is going to be the okay, same exercise. Okay, 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 you're working your bicep and you're working okay, your shoulders. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, that is going to be it for today before he breaks my camera. Thanks for following along. Please do these exercises at home. It is six dumbbell exercises for beginners, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!